guys, it's Basi, and today I have another Christmassy surprise for you. We're going to do one of my favorite things ever, which is comparing food, cultures, and traditions. And I thought, what a better time to do this than on Christmas. So in today's video, we're going to compare Christmas in the UK versus Christmas in the US. And for this video, I will be collaborating with a very special friend of mine, which is Steffi. Steffi is an Asian American YouTuber based in California, and she makes videos about food, traveling and lifestyle. We both love good food and travel, so I think you would also guys love her channel. Thanks, Fozzie. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie, aka Steffi Nios, and I'm so excited to wish you a happy holidays from the United States of America. Yes. For this two-part Christmas special, we wanted to show you all the differences between how Christmas is celebrated in the UK versus the US. And here on my channel, we'll talk about Christmas meals, tradition, and gift giving in the UK versus the US. And on her video, which I will have linked in the description down below, we will highlight Christmassy snacks, decorations, and of course, how travel has been affected this year, both in the UK and the US. So go check out her video after this one. A little disclaimer before we actually start, I'm from Bulgaria and Ben is Italian, we live in London, but of course we didn't grow up with those traditions. So if you have something to add, something in this information is wrong, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you or just tell me how do you usually celebrate Christmas. Let's talk about Christmas meals in the UK. And actually guys, did you know that the tradition in the UK in the beginning was eating goose for Christmas and there are still families that do that, but uh, around the 19th century, this tradition was replaced by eating turkey because it's uh, way more affordable and the tradition of goose was replaced. And in terms of sides, the most popular ones are pigs in blankets, puddings, and of course, shrimp cocktail, which is one of my favorite British things ever. When it comes to veggies, British people usually have Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, or red cabbage with wine, which I had a couple of days ago. And you guys, uh, it's I didn't know that cabbage can actually be so delicious. In terms of condiments, usually the meat comes with a cranberry sauce or a bread sauce. Another very popular food is the roasted gammon and beef wellington, or of course, lots of people have pork. Big supermarket chains offer uh, special Christmassy food that you can pre-order and it looks all so delicious. And I, yeah, I have taken quite a lot of them. If you're British, do you? Do you order this? Oh, what are you doing? If you like this type of content, and, or you want to see more collaborations, don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me and Steffi. We spend up so much time organizing this. So please, it takes you like two seconds to show us your support. Guys, do you want me to make a vlog from our Christmas day? Let me know. Steffi, what do actually Americans eat for Christmas? So, what do Americans eat for Christmas? To be honest, I had trouble thinking about this because I don't think there's one correct answer. So first, I think culturally, the concept of Christmas meal is not as important as the Thanksgiving meal. Because with Christmas, there is so much going on. You know, you're meeting Q4 work deadlines, you're thinking about shopping, you're thinking about decorations and possible travel. There is just so much going on during the Christmas holidays that I think the meal is kind of an afterthought. So for Christmas, I have heard of some Americans who eat Thanksgiving food for Christmas. So think like turkey, uh, mashed potatoes, steamed vegetables, all that stuff. I don't think too many people do that though. 
and of course the United States is so diverse, I think most people end up just eating their own cultural foods during the holidays. And other than that, I think because it's the end of the year, people tend to just eat comfort food, whatever that might be. It could be a steak, could be a pizza, could be chocolate chip cookies with eggnog. I don't know. Um, I don't really think the Christmas meal is that big of a deal. It's not really something that has a lot of cultural significance. All right, back to you, Vazi. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you, Steffi. Everything looks so delicious. And now we'll talk about everyone's favorite topic, gift giving and gift exchanging. Usually families here in the UK start exchanging gifts even before Christmas and uh, give as a present to each other also the advent calendars and I feel like Ben got very inspired and this is why he gave me the advent calendar that you see over there and uh, after that on Christmas morning they exchange gifts in front of the fireplace which is oh my god so cute I, I just can't during dinner also uh, they open up their Christmas crackers which look like that and guys let me know do you have this in your country because i have never seen those before i actually came to the uk close friends and neighbors also uh, tend to exchange gifts and typical gifts are food basket chocolate basket flowers or a flower basket i feel like i said basket many times if you're watching this and you still and you still don't know what present to give to your close friends guys go with the food basket i feel like that's the best present ever and i think i would honestly cry if someone gives me a chocolatey basket for christmas and now let's see how is gift giving done in the US. Is it the same, Steffi? Thanks, Vazi. So yes, gift giving and consumerism are big in the US. So before I get into gifts, I just wanna talk about charity and volunteer work. So during the holidays, Americans tend to be more inclined to think about charity, like donating money, clothing, canned goods. Prior to COVID, they would do a lot of volunteer work. So volunteering at soup kitchens or raising money so that they could make care packages for the homeless. This also includes tipping more at restaurants. So in the US we have a tipping culture and during the holidays people tend to tip a little bit more to their servers and wait staff. Also, especially during these times, there's heightened awareness for supporting small local businesses. So instead of buying a gift on Amazon, they will support a local artist or local entrepreneur in their area. So if you can, please think about supporting your local businesses this year. All right, now it's time to talk about gift giving. So let's talk about colleagues in the workplace. So usually it depends on the workplace. Workplaces may organize a holiday party, obviously not in person these days, but uh, maybe they'll have a, an ugly sweater event. Maybe they'll even organize a secret Santa. If so, if you don't know what secret Santa is, you have a designated person who you're gonna give a gift to, and then someone else is gonna give you a gift. If a company is really successful, they may even buy gifts for their employees. Now let's talk about gift giving amongst our friends. So typically people will buy gifts for their very best friends. When it comes to a group of friends, uh, what's more popular than Secret Santa is White Elephant. So if you don't know how White Elephant works, basically every participant will bring a gift. Usually the idea is it's a gag gift or an inconvenient gift. Although it could be a quote unquote serious gift as well. Then you select an order. So when it is your turn, you can either take a gift from the pile or you can steal a gift from someone else. And that's what makes White Elephant so fun is that stealing element. And sometimes at parties, you can even implement certain rules, like, um, like if two people are really fighting over a gift, they can take shots to determine the winner of that gift. And remember, you're only going based on what the packaging and the size of the present looks like. You don't really know what's inside. So that's what makes White Elephant so fun and so hilarious. Now let's talk about gift giving to our family. So I think even more importantly than friends, it is customary to give presents to your family members. Some families will open presents on December 24th, but most families wait until the morning of December 25th. I remember when I was young, Christmas morning was one of my favorite days of the year. I was always so excited to wake up super early and open up all my presents. And that is how we give gifts here in the United States. Back to you, Vazi. This was so informative. Thank you, Steffi. And a fun fact about British Christmas is that there were only seven white Christmases recorded in the entire 20th century. And the last one was in 2004. 
And Steffi, hit me up with a fun fact about Christmas in the US. Did you know that Legos are so popular in the United States that 28 sets are sold every second during the holiday season? In fact, I have a few to show you. So here I have a Lego Christmas tree. It's funny, I didn't even set up a tree this year, but I have a Lego tree. It even spins around and it has this cute little star on top. I also have this Christmas wreath that is made out of Legos. It is quite intricate and fragile, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And that is it for a fun Christmas fact about the United States. Back to you, Vazzy. Let me know what was the most interesting fact or difference between the UK and the US. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out Steffi's video, which will be linked in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more travel-related content Content, videos from London and of course special collaborations like this one. It was so great to collab with you Vasi. I hope that you all learned a lot more about the differences between the UK and the US when it comes to Christmas. Love you loads! Bye!